looking at the calendar function in our, our D2L. So again, here's the um, template page that I've been given. And if we quickly look across our table here, um, I don't quite see calendar in the one I've been given, but just above it is right here. Not every one of the background layouts will have a calendar um, quick link. So you might have to play around with that. But in this one, I do. So we go into our calendar. Okay. And lo and behold, here's our calendar. So I've already filled in a lot of information for my students. Each day, they kind of what their work is, what we plan on doing. So let's say I want to add something for today. Okay, today's Thursday. I literally just have to click in our box, and I can just title it. If I just want, this is your homework. Uh, homework, do it now. Right, and there's our title, and I can create that. Okay, but let's say I want to add more to that information. So there is a little... Uh, button for more. We click more and it gives us a lot more options. So we can see the title still the same, homework, do it now. And we can add content from stuff I already have. So I already have some content added. I could click and uh, put a link to any of that stuff. We can put a description. Uh, this is the homework. Okay. We can add links and um, audio video files. We can insert images. We can put questions. We can embed stuff, spell check. Uh, preview it, uh, full screen to make it easier. And there's tons of stuff we can do within that. Okay, um, we can say what days it's displayed on. Well, I only want it displayed for today, but say I want it to be a week long thing. Okay, so it goes from today, or, or maybe just say till Friday. So it'll list that on today and tomorrow stuff, which is the Friday. Okay, you can add a recurrence. So if you want it to pop up every single day, say you're doing your homework or um, maybe it's remember to log in or something like that. We can add a recurrence to that. We can add a restriction. Uh, we can have it hidden um, from a, a range of days. You can say it's uh, visible between certain days, so visible between this and that day. And we can play around and change all of those. We can always keep this hidden until we feel like we want to uh, open it up for our students. So there's lots of options there. Okay, and let's say it's like a field trip. Uh, do homework, um, location, at home. Okay, so make sure you do your homework at home, and you can play around with any of these things. And then we create, and you'll notice it's now filled in on Thursday and Friday. That info we can even click it, and it says this is the homework. Uh, do it at home, homework, do it now, now all that stuff we've written in. It color-coded it for this specific course. This course, Integrating Math Technology, was red. These are the two of the other courses, and they've color-coded them. Um, so you can have more than one thing, but your students in that course will only see um, what's color-coded towards them. Okay, And then we can very easily edit, add stuff to it, or delete it.